This video is an AI-based parody created for satire and entertainment purposes. All voices, conversations, and scenarios are artificially generated and do not represent the actual opinions, actions, or voices of any individuals mentioned. Man, this place is hands down the most beautiful looking in the game so far. After all the old, dark, and decaying bergs, forests, and fortresses, this place is like a reward for the player. I should make my next golf course like this. Call it Anor Lago. Yeah, and then you can overestimate the value and file your 98th bankruptcy. You know, you should be careful here, Joe. This place has a lot of stairs, and I'd hate to see another Air Force One incident. Fuck off, Donald, but what's up with this enemy? He's like not attacking me at all. Well, he's just standing guard, so as long as you don't attack him, you are free to walk around. That's good, because I'd hate to tangle with this guy. He's massive. And there are more of them, just letting me come in and look around. I bet this feels weird, because you arrested people who did that at the Capitol building. Come on, Donald. Those nut jobs were trying to overturn a fair election. You mean a rigged election. And do you really think a bunch of unarmed protesters were really going to overthrow the government? Really, Donald? You got to admit, a lot of those guys went way too far. And let's just focus on the game, because, Joe, we got a bonfire ahead. Oh, man, I can't wait to level up with all these souls here. Oh, it looks like it's already been kindled, just like at Firelink. Well, it's actually like that for the same reason, Joe. Why don't you look around and see why? Well, I really want to level up, but all right, since you asked me. I'm not seeing anything just yet. Turn the fucking camera around, Joe. Oh, my goodness, a knight. Hello, Sir Knight. Well... You are a rare visitor. Welcome to the lost city of Anor Londo, chosen undead. If you seek Lord Grin's old key, exit here and head straight yonder. If you are the chosen one, a revelation shall visit thee. What follows thereafter depends upon you. Oh wait, it's another lady and she has a sexy as fuck voice. Jesus, not only did you assume their gender, but you immediately sexualize her. Creepy Sleepy Joe at it again. Shut up, Donald. You only defend gender identity when it benefits you. And what did she say? She's a firekeeper, just like my love who was brutally taken from me. Well, if you'd ever shut up and stop fighting like an old married couple, you'd hear this massive lore dump about who firekeepers are and how they work. I wouldn't worry about Joe learning the lore in this game. His old dementia ass won't remember any of it anyways. Fuck you, Donald. I can remember this shit. Oh, yeah? What's the name of the location we're in right now? Um, it was, um, the Magic Kingdom. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, looks like a fog wall up ahead, but interesting. This one is gold. Sealed by the great Lord's power. The hell does that mean? It means that we can't access this area just yet. We need to break the magic seal in order to enter, which is here in Orlando. Yeah, if you were listening, the firekeeper said to go straight out here to get Lord Gwen's power. Man, these giant knights are the strongest guys I've fought so far, but at least I can get my reward. Motherfucker, another mimic. Oh, and that's just fucking great. Now I gotta do this all over again. Don't worry, Joe. Next chance I'll teach you the trick to seeing a mimic versus a real chest. Okay, enough detouring. Let's get some actual progress today. Everyone goes at their own pace here, Donnie. Yeah, it's just Joe's pace is slower than the counting in Arizona in 2020. Get over it, Donald, and look, it's another one of those gargoyles. Like from the first bell of awakening. Yeah, they are here, just in case you missed out on either their tail weapon or the helmet. The first go around. Oh, a second chance? Just like Donald wanting a second chance to lose to me this year. Fuck you, Joe. Hmm, looks like the way forward is here, but I can't seem to reach it. It's just gonna be a timed run and jump here. Oh, well, if you say so, here it goes. Oh, what the fuck, Donald? That's what you get, jackass. Barry, why did you let him do that? Joe, we've been playing for hours and hours now. If you fall for shit like that, it's your own fault. All right, guys, I've been looking around for like 10 minutes now, and I can't find the way to progress forward. Well, in the interest of time, I'll tell you, head back down those stairs and look left. That's the way forward. I don't believe you after that stunt earlier. No, he's telling the truth, Joe. Well, what the fuck? I would have never guessed that. Yeah, it can be a little confusing, but I think the idea is that the city of the gods is closed off to you, so you gotta bullshit your way in. Yeah, I had to YouTube how to progress, but I like it. Feels like some adventurer shit to do. 
Who the fuck is this? Worst sneak attack I've ever seen. Well, don't worry about who they are. Just focus on getting them out of your way. Because you're going to need to focus up here in a minute. Oh, what the fuck is this shit? It's your worst nightmare, Joe. You are going to have to not fall over here. Fuck you, Donald. I'd like to see your fat ass do this. These tiny ass beams probably couldn't support your obese oompa loompa ass. I bet Bush knows all about beams, knows which one's jet fuel melts. Damn, Donald. Don't got to do Bush like that. But Joe, your halberd is good for this situation. As long as you don't miss any attacks, your forward thrust should keep you on these beams while you fight. Oh, oh, what the fuck? They also throw knives at me while I'm on this? Just keep your shield up and they will soon come to you. Okay, okay, come on, you bastard. Face me like a man. Fuck you, bitch. Wee! Bye-bye, body. Now I see an item on that chandelier. How do I get to it? Take out that katana you got and cut the chain supporting it. We can get it later. Okay, last one dead. Good shit, Joe. Now just get to that ladder. Oh, mama. Look at that statue. Oh, whoops. Are you serious, Joe? You got distracted by statue titties? This is one of the few times I've respected you, Sleepy Joe. Oh, thank God. Looks to be the lever to this pillar. Move it, and we can finally complete the bridge to the main castle. Thank goodness, I'm done going across beams over drops of death. Yeah, Joe, I'm sure that is all behind you now. Oh yeah, totally, for sure. You two agreeing? Now I might be nervous. Careful with these stairs, Joe. Might be too much for you to handle. Bitch, I bet you couldn't make it up a quarter of the way there before your obese ass needed a medical team to assist you when you go into cardiac failure from a lifetime of grease and sugar. Fuck you, you old decaying bastard. Let's see who gets a heart attack first, me or the person who sat behind Moses in the third grade. I hope you both keel over so I don't gotta listen to this shit anymore. Shut up, Barry. Only reason you are even remotely healthy is because if you weren't, Manchel would beat the fuck out of you. Yeah, she can probably throw your skinny ass around with that giant ass man back she's got. Shut the fuck up. Michelle does not boss me around. We have a healthy relationship. After your two terms were up, you looked like you aged 20 years. And I don't think it was from making legislation. Most people don't know this, but I remember Barry used to smoke like a chimney during our time in the White House. Michelle hated it. I think the two are connected. Okay, that might be true. I promised her that I would quit back in 2011, but I had Joe keep a lookout while I snuck a Marlboro or two throughout the day. Oh yeah, those were the days. It was like two brothers sneaking their pawpaws cigarettes, just like the old days. And you looked so cool when you smoked, but you never let me have one. Joe, I'm pretty sure one drag from a Marlboro Red would actually kill you. Oh, that's a great idea, Barack. Hey, Joe, next time you come over, I'll buy you all the motherfucking Newports you want. Oh, wow. Really, Donnie? Nice try, Donald. But shut up. If you want to get back into the White House so bad, do it the right way in an honest and fair election. An honest and fair election. Not possible with Sleepy Joe. Mad cause bad, Donnie, but with the guards dead, I can now get inside. What the fuck? It's locked? Yeah. Once again, you're going to have to bullshit your way in again. Oh, come on, man. Fuck these demon things. They go from helping me to attacking me. Bipolar bitches. Uh, what the fuck? Who shot me with an arrow? Okay, this may not be a real boss, but this is the informal boss of this area. It's two silver knights guarding the walkway to enter. Just keep moving. And don't fall over. Watch and learn, boys. Okay, Joe, halfway there and now time for the hard part. I got this, Barry. Good shit, Joe. Just get over there and take out the knight. Come here, silver bitch. If I can take your black friend, I can take you. Phrasing Joe. Damn it. Joe, what the fuck? You completely missed. Fuck you. That was a test run. Ah, oh, shit. I need to heal. Yeah, what the fuck, Joe? Don't heal in the open. Shut up, Donald. It's fine. Let me heal again real quick. Joe, stop. Ah, fuck. Next time, listen. Listen to your doctors when they tell you to lose weight. Fuck you, Joe. Okay, just need to get close to you, you bastard. Watch out for the other knight. How am I supposed to block both of them? You have to get closer to that one, dipshit. Pretend it's a young girl with unsniffed hair. Oh, what the fuck? Got double teamed like Trump. 
in legal and civil court. Or double penetrated, like you with Michelle and her boyfriend, you cuck. Fuck you, Donald. Come here, you shit. What the fuck? The arrow bounced off my shit and knocked me off? You gotta roll and not block when you get on the ledge there. That's bullshit. Come on, let me get closer. God fucking damn it. Joe, your dementia is flaring up. You literally did the same thing Obama said to stop. Obama said what now? Fucking hell, Joe, take your pills. Okay, he stopped shooting arrows. Now I just gotta kill him. Just be careful, Joe. He's still dangerous. And that's a tiny ledge. Are you fucking... Come on, Joe. It's been like an hour. You got this. I am so over this fucking asshole. Oh shit, he fell off. Fuck you, you motherfucker. Not so funny when it happens to you. Good shit, Joe. Now just jump down there. Let's fucking go. Thank goodness I thought you'd never get past that. Yeah, I remember Mitt Romney bitched about this when we were campaigning against each other. Good, I hope that damn rhino suffered for that. Okay, Joe, first thing you need to do is go to the door on the left. I hope you're not tricking me, Barack, because if I die and gotta do that again, I'm fucking rage quitting so hard. Nah, you are gonna want to open that door there. Oh, thank goodness, a bonfire. And Solaire, wow, holy cow. How you been, buddy? Yeah, it's so cool. He actually beats you here. Really shows that Solaire may be a goofball, but he's a very strong goofball. Okay, let's talk to our son, bro. Oh. There you are. You've been quiet these days. Smooth summoning out there. Anytime you see my brilliantly shining signature, do not hesitate to call upon me. You've left me with quite an impression. I would relish a chance to assist you. You really are fond of chatting with me, aren't you? If I didn't know better, I'd think you had feelings for me. Oh no, dear me. Pretend you didn't hear that. <laughs> oh my goodness, Solaire, you're making me blush for real. Can't even blame you, he's just so charming. What an alpha male, you may not like it, but that's what peak performance looks like. Think I'm just gonna sit here for a minute and enjoy some time with my bro? Okay, cool, a big empty room. Well, Joe, in the interest of time, I'm gonna let you know that there is another illusionary wall, just like in Quellog's domain. I haven't seen one of those in a while, but I can tell this one is a little more obvious than the last one. Oh, this place is creepy looking as fuck. I can assure you, Joe, this place is relatively safe. A secret, dark, and ominous room seems like something that should be on a certain island that rich people go to. Yeah, I wonder how Bill is handling the news, but what the fuck was Stephen Hawkins doing there? What about you, Donnie? I heard your name was dropped. Yeah, and they said they didn't ever see me, but I'm gonna just let the chips fall where they may. The lamestream media are already trying to spin it against me, and I'm just not in the mood for it. Holy shit, is this the Rock's armor? It's Havel Joe, but yes. I'm pretty sure it's Dwayne Brock. Jesus Christ, we are not doing this again. Oh shit, it's Squidward. You got here too? Sigmire Joe, but yes, only badasses make it to Anorlando. I love how he stands next to an open window, implying that his giant ass climbed in here through it. Oh shit, I never noticed that. Good catch, Barry. Hmm. Whatever can be done. Ah, you again. Let me guess. Were you repelled by the Silver Knight? Oh, don't be ashamed. Tis the fate of vanguard like you and I. I'll think of something. We can overcome this together. This is quite a fix. We'll need another three. No, maybe five bodies. Hmm, quite a fix indeed. All right, Joe, so you're going to need to go into the next room and kill the knights. This will progress the quest for him. Just take it one at a time and you'll be fine. Oh, Donald over here rhyming. Just take your time. A rhythm so divine in the Dark Souls arena. It's our verbal paradigm. What the fuck, Joe? I think Joe has gone from taking not enough of his medication to taking too much of that shit now. Uh, oh, sorry. Rhyming had me thinking of the old days in Scranton's mysterious corners. 
I strolled through streets or perhaps alleys, encountered Mr. Whiskers or maybe Sir Meows a lot. They wore a top hat or maybe a monocle. We found ourselves in a place, maybe a pickle factory or a chocolate emporium, playing jazz with barrel instruments or oversized spoons to a mix of chickens, ducks, and possibly a confused goose clucked, quacked, or honked in approval. Wild times, those were the days in some parallel universe, or maybe just Scranton after all. Anyway, did I ever tell you about the time I tried to teach a platypus to play chess? Um, what the fuck? I guess the answer is not enough. Oh, oh. what's on your mind, friend? Wait, you defeated those monsters? Fantastic. I'm saved. This night of Catalina hereby commends you. Take this as a token of my gratitude. But be warned, gallantry entails great risk. Next time, give me a chance to come up with a plan. Okay, let's see what's down here. Yeah, you definitely want to go down here. Up ahead is the best vendor in the whole game by far. Oh shit, I recognize that sound. Wait, isn't he the same kind of giant that was throwing rocks at me back at the fortress? Yes, but he is mad chill. Is that all you want to say? Tis no good, but forge very good. I know any time. No talk, all action, my man. Hmm, an unintelligent borderline slave. Definitely the type of person who you would want to hire Trump. Fuck off, Obama. I hire the best slaves the best. No one hires slaves like me. Wait, fuck, that's not what I meant. Too late. I recorded that shit and posting it all over Twitter or X or whatever the fuck is called. You post that shit and I'll throw a broomstick through the wheels of your fucking bike. All right, Joe. Boss battle time. This one is going to test you like nothing has before. I've been waiting for this shit since we started. This is probably the best boss in the entire game. As long as it isn't another night on a tiny ass ledge, I got this. Holy shit, I take everything I said back. A big, fat, gold, baby-looking bastard. That is actually you, Trump. Ha ha ha, you fucking nailed it, Joe. That's it, no more jokes. I'm actually gonna come over there and beat the fuck out of you. Wait, 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 they are both about to fight me? That's right, Joe. It's Dragon Slayer Ornstein and Executioner Smog. You have to take on both. It's easily the biggest roadblock for first-time players. These guys are awesome. Solid gold armor. One's big and strong, and the other is small and fast. A perfect combination for each other, accumulating in one of the best boss fights in not only Dark Souls, but in gaming. Well, fuck, they just kicked my ass. Okay, round two, Tweedledee and Tweedledum. That's actually what I have you two saved as, in my phone. Well, I have you saved as Obama bombing because you bombed the fuck out of Yemen. Can't wait to change it to inmate 145875 when your ass goes to prison. Even if I go to prison, you'll still be treated like a prison bitch more than me. How? Because Michelle is going to make you take it up the- Will you two shut the fuck up? I'm trying to fucking heal. Whoops. Sorry, Joe. Got carried away there. Yeah, the key is to keep them both on your screen at the same time. Because if you lose track of one of them, they will almost always fuck you up from behind. Like what Michelle does to Obama. God damn it. Fuck you, Donald. Fuck, you two distracted me. Come on, Joe, just gotta divide and conquer here. Okay, with the Trump cosplayer over there, let's try to get some damage on Pikachu over here. Ha! That's what you get. Damn it! Oh my god, is that the only move you ever do, you fat fucking ugly bastard? Stay calm, Joe. Getting angry is gonna make it worse. Oh my fucking. Can you fucking back off so I can heal?
All right, Joe, so maybe I'll be nice and then tell you, go up those stairs and you'll find a summon sign. Thank God, now it will be an even fight. Let's fucking go, it's Solaire. Man with Solaire here, I can actually focus on one of them and take them out one at a time. Yeah, having Solaire to help at least distract one is a big help. Hell, sometimes he can even take one out before you. Fuck you, Smog. Now I just gotta take out Ornstein. Oh wait, a mid-boss cutscene? Wait, what is that fucker doing? He's absorbing Smog's power, making him stronger. And regaining all his health. Well, fuck. Oh, and he's growing. Just like me when Jill makes me take that little blue pill. I'm going to assume that you are talking about something else, because I'm confident that what you need a certain blue pill for will give you a heart attack and die. Um, what is he talking about, Barry? Joe, you've been old as fuck since the Reagan administration. How do you not know what he's talking about? But if you don't know, I'm not going to explain it. You need to focus on the second phase of this boss. Good call. That'd be hard to explain. And I don't think his dementia brain could even process it. Oh yeah, almost forgot about this fight. But fuck, he takes way more damage now. Fuck, okay, next time. I'm taking his bitch ass out first. Let's go, Ornstein down. Good job, Joe. Just need to focus up and not get distracted by boner pills. What? Nothing, Joe. Just watch the game. Oh shit, he offs his partner when he's no longer of any use to him. Just like Trump and Pence. Fuck you, Joe, and fuck that race band and looking fucker. I gotta say, Smog's move set is way easier to handle than ours. He's a lot slower, so it's easier to tell what it's going to be. Just watch out for his ass drop. His ass what? God damn, I got the authentic Melania experience. Okay, I'm gonna make a call to help you beat this boss fight, because if I don't, I'm gonna have to listen to these fucking jokes all night. Okay, he's finally online. I'm gonna invite him to the call. Hello, Joe. It has come to my attention that you're facing the notorious Orenstein and Smau boss fight in Dark Souls, a pinnacle of pixelated peril. I've discerned that you find yourself at this critical juncture, and fear not, for I am here to illuminate the path to a triumphant resolution. What the fuck, Trump? You called Ben Shapiro? Trust me, this guy knows what to do. Primarily, one must strategically engage the assistance of the esteemed Solaire, an AI ally whose summons would, indubitably, provide a salubrious advantage in this climactic clash. The fuck did he say? Your discerning choice to have a strength level of 24 has not gone unnoticed. And I implore you to ascend your Zweihander to a potency of plus five, thus augmenting its efficacy and conferring upon you a veritable Excalibur amidst the ensuing tempest. A pot of what now? The tactical delineation is paramount, Joseph. Initiate the confrontation with a meticulous bifurcation of attention. Employ Solaire as a bastion against Smau's relentless aggression, whilst you, with your augmented strength, engage Ornstein in a bout of intimate duel. No, even I don't get what he's saying. Upon the inevitable quelling of Orenstein, seamlessly transition into a bimanual configuration of your Spyhander. This pertinacious change enhances the kinetic potentiality of your strikes, an instrumental aspect in the looming melee with the lone adversary, Smo. I'm sorry, what about bisexuals? To encapsulate Joseph, meticulous stratagems, perspicacious weapon fortification, and a sagacious distribution of combative focus shall pave the way for your vicarious conquest. Remember, it's not merely a contest, it's a choreographed ballet of algorithms and precision. What the fuck are you saying? Just get the Zweihander to plus five. Summon Solaire, kill Orenstein, and two-hand the Zweihander on Smau. You demented old bastard. Well, just say that next time. Boom! Got Orenstein down again. Okay, Benny boy, your little tip better be worth the $500,000 I had to give the Daily Wire. What the fuck, Donald? You paid for him to help us? Of course I charged him. Normally I would only help my daddy DeSantis, but I couldn't pass up the money. It could help with making cringe TikTok reaction videos and making shitty movies solely made just in the name of anti-wokeness. Oh yeah, like that Sleeping Beauty movie, regardless if it's good or not. That Brett Cooper is such a baddie on God. Joe, you are like 65 years older than her. What can I say? I'm a certified munch. And now that I think about it, Ben, you kind of look like her. How much to put on a wig? And Jesus, Joe, no. Okay, fine. 
But how much for an interview? I would love to get a sniff of that. Nope, stop. Not even going to go there. But Donnie, how did you even afford that? Between your legal fees and your campaigning, you can't be very liquid right now. Oh, all I had to do was make some more shitty NFTs and made the money in like two hours. Come on, Donald. Make money the legit way, like me with my books. Barry, your books suck ass and you know it. And I bet you don't even write them. Hell no, I don't write them. But when you're as charismatic as me, you can basically put whatever you want on paper and people will eat that shit up. Oh yeah, and I got a name for your next book. Oh yeah, what is it? I'm thinking of calling it Two Terms, How to Get a Sequel. Fuck you! And I'm thinking Manchel's memoirs, the story of Manchel's husband. Holy shit! Will you two shut up? I'm so close to winning, and if you two distract me again, I'm sending a nuke to both your houses. Yes, gentlemen, please refrain from useless discourse. Joe is so close to obtaining victory. Oh shit, what's happening? Holy shit, I think you are breaking his poison, stun locking him. No way. Ah yes, all according to plan. Holy fucking shit, let's go. That's what I'm fucking talking about. Good shit, Joe. Thank you, Ben, you are the standard to what all of Santa's elves should strive to be. Um, you're welcome, I think. But with my service complete, I bid you all a farewell. All right, Joe. The Lord Vessel's just on the other side of that door. This damn thing had better be worth all of the trouble. Oh, this is the greatest reward in all of Dark Souls. Holy shit. You okay, Joe? Hummer to hummer to hummer to hummer to hummer to hummer. I think he's broken. Guys, it's the big titty lady from the statue earlier. Yes, Joe, it's Gwynevere, daughter of Gwyn and goddess of sunlight. And owner of the biggest set I've ever seen. Fuck Quilag. This is where it's at. Gwynevere, daughter of Lord Gwyn and queen of sunlight. Since the day father is wounded in obscurus, I have awaited thee. I bequeath the Lord Vessel to thee. Fuck yeah, Lord Vessel. And it looks like I can fast travel now. Congratulations, Joe. You got the Lord Vessel, and are now in the last half of the game. Now it's time to start filling that thing up with some powerful souls. Looks like things are about to start turning up. AI President Barack Obama here. Thank you all for tuning in to part seven of the AI Presidents Play Dark Souls. Now there are a few things I want to address. First off, wow guys. In my last video, I thanked you all for helping me reach my goal of 50 subscribers, and that I hope to one day hit 100. Well, in 24 hours of me saying that, we destroyed my goal and hit 100 subscribers. That was a truly magical moment for me. I can't thank you enough for that. And as of making this video, the channel is sitting at over 250 subscribers, which is incredible. So this may be ballsy, but the new goal is to hit 500 subscribers. In order to do that, I humbly ask that you like, comment, and share the video. And if you haven't done so, already subscribe and ring the bell for when new videos come out. Together we can build this channel and turn it into something great for both Dark Souls and AI President fans alike. Now on to some other updates. Some of you may have possibly noticed that I didn't get the achievement for getting the Lord Vessel. This is because unfortunately the original footage of Anne Orlando was lost and seemed to be no way to recover it. So after exhausting all options, I decided it'd be best to make another character just like the original and re-record this part of the game. But I plan to continue the adventure with the original Joey, of course, and plan to have some fail-safes in the future. Finally, just to address some possible concerns. 2024 is an election year here in the States, and YouTube is going to be cracking down on AI-based videos to help stop misinformation. So channels like these could be targeted. In order to mitigate any harm to this channel, disclaimers have been added to this video, which I'm sure you saw at the beginning and will be the standard going forward. I love making these videos as well as I love watching them, too. I truly believe that this trend that started a year ago has evolved into its own category of YouTube content, so I'll keep making videos as long as YouTube lets me. Sorry for a lengthy outro, but I hope you have a wonderful day, and thank you.